get some white, yeah, white chocolate is here. Yeah. Hello guys, um, hello everyone, welcome again to my channel. Guys, um, I want just to make this small video, it's a small vlog, because I'm going to Mukono, Mukono city is um, 30 something kilometers from where I stay here in Kampala. So I uh, want you to enjoy my, with me the journey and, and explore some places, you know. Yes, I'll be driving, so I'll be trying to show you uh, some places. I'm going to pick my sister from school because they are, they are getting their holiday, Christmas holiday today. So uh, I'm going to pick her. She told me that she is going they are going to finish at 11 it's now 9 so I'm about to leave here maybe in two hours I will be there yeah so see you so guys it's raining it's raining outside so try to go oh my god the journey. driving when it rains, you know what, because, um, because there is no jam, uh, there is no like, traffic, police are not uh, there, so the road is free, you know, <laughs> um, you know so I really love driving, because most Uganda may not like driving when it rains, so, but for me, it's my, like, uh, you profit, but <laughs> it's not on it's now an occasion. So let me just uh, the road is free, there's no jam. But when the rain stops, uh, that's, uh, that's a problem. Man. We found a lot of jam everywhere. So for me, I don't wait for rain to stop so that I can go where I want to go. So I have just to drive. Where the rain will stop, I will go on my way going. You know. so, uh, so, just tell me in the comments do you like driving when it's raining or do you want to drive when the rain has stopped? Leave a comment. And if you are in Uganda, just tell me do you also fear traffic police to stop you? I have everything, but sometimes I don't want to, I don't want like uh, people to stop me asking me questions uh, and also another thing you know for me I, I use Kogolis driving license so sometimes it's uh, sometimes it's hard sometimes it's, uh, they, they have a lot of questions you know? they have a lot of questions asking me uh, why are you using this in Uganda yeah. I apply for Uganda driving licenses driving permits Maybe uh, next week I'll have it. Yeah. So I apply for this now. It's now like three months. Three I'm waiting. I say that I'm. <laughs> I'm saying that I'm not going to find jam, but this is Kampala, man. This Kampala jam is too much, and I can see my if well, 
is not there. The tank, I have to fill my tank before continuing. So, yes, so I was saying, it's, um, for me, I feel like good to, to drive when it's raining because most of people don't, like, don't drive. There's no cars on the road. When it's raining, you know, but when it stops, that's another problem. You found jam everywhere. You found jam everywhere. So you need to be, you need to have your strategy, you know. That's what I choose here in Kampala. But this area here where we are, in this your area, is always like that. From 8 to 10, there is jam. Even now, there is not too much because I was expecting to have it here. Yeah, but uh, when it comes to Ginger Road right now, you can't find jam because people have packed aside to wait for to wait the rain to stop so that they can continue their journey. So guys, um, we have just passed a small traffic. It was in Bukovi. It was in um, in this road area. We always have traffic there around this time because it's nine and people are going to town, you know, most people don't want to be late from their work. Um, yeah, we are still in this area. After uh, this area is the lobby. Then uh, Makawa. Yeah, then I will be showing other places. Ah, yes, I have changed my jacket. I'm not really fan of jackets, you know. That's why I have only that one. You can check on my video. I always, uh, I always have it because I don't. I'm not really fan of, of jack, jackets and other other stuff. So let's first get some fuel. Then we can continue our trip. I always take fuel to Shell. put my fuel to shine because they are they have they say that they have clean one yes I have to buy some some something for my sister like a gift because I can't just go and see her empty hands so let me let me go to the supermarket and get some I don't know what I'm going to get for uh -huh. let me go there and see One white chocolates, white, white, white. Okay, Any white chocolates. This guy is hard to choose. What am I going to get? This one, this one is very, very nice. And another thing, yeah. So guys, I'm from uh, 
for my kids. I want to do something for my sister. Yeah. Hope she's going to like this one. It's just a small gift. I'm going to say that. But I know that she may ask other things when we are coming back. Let's go. Let's continue our trip. I'm in uh, Bugolobi. Yes, I'm in Bugolobi, and it's, uh, it's now 10 a.m. Yes, maybe in one hour we'll be there. So um, I will be just updating you while I'm going to the roads. I will be updating you about the trip, the roads, and and everything I will be seeing. <laughs> so see you. Guys, we we have reached Mukono. Yeah, that's Mukono there. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh, there is a roundabout just uh, in front there. In a roundabout where we it will direct us to to my sister's school yeah let me show you the mukon this mukon guys i was asking myself a question uh, why why is it called mukono you know you know mukono means hands in swahili so why is it called mukono do you have some people from mukono here please so they can uh, they can explain to us why this place is called Mukono, not Mugulu, <laughs> or not Kichwa, or not uh, not other part of the body. Why Mukono? Anyone from Mukono, please drop a comment. Explain to us uh, why is it called Mukono. Guys, we we are finally to Mukono. And uh, we have reached to my sister's school. That's called Umoja. Uh, Umoja means Umoja means uh, together. Are you sure together? <laughs> I don't know. Umoja means what in English? Yes, together. Yes, together, 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 together. Yeah, it's mean together. So Umoja means together. It's a, um, an international school. They speak, they teach in French. It's, it's a French school. I can see it there. I will show you when um, when uh, when I reach. Okay. That's, you can see the road is very bad. Yeah, that's Umoja. Let me show you. That's the school. Yeah, the school is uh, Umoja International French School. Yeah. 
is a Congolese school. So people are reporting today. People are not reporting. People are people are going home. Those are reporting also. A few moments later. Yes, guys, we um, we are now going home. We are from Mukono, Moja. So my sister is there sleeping. Ariane, say hi. Hi. Are you tired? Yes, I'm tired. <laughs> yes, Ariane is there. We are from her school. We are going now home. There's a lot of jam right now. I don't know when are we going to reach because um, all is going going dark. We have a lot of jam. And remember I told you when it stopped raining in Uganda we always have uh, traffic. So I for sure I don't know when are we going to because jam is too much. Let me show you. Jam is too much. Uh, I think we, we shall use the express so that we, we reach early.
finally we have reached Kajasi after 30 minutes of driving after, after using the express you know, uh, imagine if we was using the normal roads I think we should reach here like uh, after 2 hours so we are going to exit the road because if you continue that road you are going to Munyonyo as far as we are going to Kajasi that's why we have to exit so guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to like the video yeah. share and uh, also subscribe if you are new